think I'm known about the hard working conductor. So I would like to say that, that, that one keyword for the future is work, work, work. And I hope that it, it could be said with a smiling face. I have, I have many great expectations for next year with uh, our new music director. While it's a bit cliche for people to say that this is a new beginning, I don't really f view it as a beginning. I think it's more of an evolution um, because the, the Seoul Philharmonic has been around for a long time and we have been in a very, you know, an excellent orchestra and um, this, this period with our new music director is just, um, yeah, it's a uh, a time for us to yeah, evolve and, and grow from, from our past. Uh, works which are very close to my heart and which I believe are good for the orchestra to play and most importantly which are interesting uh, to the audiences of, of the Soul Philharmonic Orchestra. Mahler's Second Symphony, Resurrection, is, is a great piece of music with the choirs, with, with the soloists. And, and, uh, and as it is telling the story about, about uh, uh, connected to the Bible, about Resurrection, I, I think that there are many, many musical reasons to, 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 to start with that piece. But also, I have to say that, that we all know that the Sophie Harmonic has been four years without a music director. And in, in some ways, when, when, when a new conductor, when I'm going to start there, in, in one way it's possible to think, think about that. It's, it's a symbolic uh, idea, thinking about the title. Yeah, next year we have many, many um, exciting and interesting programs. Actually, so many that it's, it's, hard, it's hard to choose. Um, it's hard to choose which are the most interesting. But um, obviously, our first concert with Maestro Vanska um, doing Mahler Mahler II um, is very exciting. Obviously, it's a, one of the great masterpieces of the entire repertoire. Yeah, it's it's a piece that the the orchestra knows well since we re recorded it with Maestro Chang. I think it'll be very interesting and exciting to um, kind of learn a new interpretation of this masterpiece. Um, some other programs I'm greatly, greatly looking forward to are the um, Beethoven V and Beethoven VI uh, with Maestro Stenz um, in the summer. Again, great, just some of my favorite pieces in the entire repertoire and um, also pieces that the orchestra knows well, but uh, Maestro Stenz is kind of, uh, he's a very, uh, he's very passionate about Beethoven and I think it'll be exciting to get his kind of, his fresh interpretation of these, of these pieces. Um, also in August, we have our, um, our program with our artist in residence, Hoken Hardenberger, and he'll be playing and conducting and um, greatly looking forward to this because he is a fantastic, musician, I mean, obviously one of the best trumpet players in the entire world, um, but uh, it'll be interesting to work with him um, for this program. I mean, he's a, he's a musician that we've had a, a long relationship with. He's been here many times, and every concert we've played has been uh, such a great learning experience, and I think this will be no different. Um, also at the end of the year, um, before our annual Beethoven 9, we're doing uh, Berlioz, Damnation de Faust, um, with Maestro Fischer. And again, another huge piece, which actually the orchestra has not, has not done before, at least during my time. And um, it's, yeah, I've never, I've never played the piece as well. So I'm really looking forward to learning it and performing it. I have guest conducted the Sophie Harmonic four times. And I, I, I have found out that it's a very good orchestra, very, high-level orchestra. Um, compared to my previous ones, I think that when there are more years when the, when the orchestra is working with the same conductor, then, then there might be possible to get a little bit more personal sound. I hope that the great orchestra, as, as 
that solar philharmonic is right now is going to be a little bit more like Osmos Orchestra in the future. The, the Soul Philharmonic has many, many special qualities. Uh, first of all, I believe that we have, you know, I don't know how many exact musicians we have in our orchestra, but, you know, close to a hundred. <laughs> but uh, we have, you know, everyone is passionate, very passionate, but passionate about music, passionate about performing, passionate about putting good concerts on for, for our excellent audience. And I think also, you know, our orchestra, we're lucky that we have a very nice, um, we have a mix of kind of some older members and newer members or younger members. Um, and I think this is, is so wonderful that we have our older members because they bring a lot of, you know, ex obviously experience and wisdom. And then our younger members, we also, we, you know, we add, uh, we add, you know, energy and, and um, enthusiasm, um, especially, or, you know, a young enthusiasm, enthusiasm to the orchestra. And uh, I think the way that we interact is, is very special. Um, I think our orchestra is also, it's very special because we are very, I believe that we've um, become very flexible. I mean, we, we've played with many, many, many different types of conductors, different styles. Uh, we, we've done Baroque, you know, classical, like we do a lot of uh, new music as well. And I think we've, we, we're very flexible in that we, we're able to perform all of these different types of uh, works well, and programs well. And uh, yeah, I think also our orchestra, we just, um, you know, we, we have a special uh, warm sound um, that, that, it, that I think that, that is special to us. I mean, it's just our sound that we have and um, and I think, you know, now as we kind of have this new era, uh, it will continue to continue to evolve. Now, for me, our audience is one of the best things and my favorite things about playing in this orchestra. Um, I, I've always felt that we have, we have the best audience in the world. Uh, and everyone is, our audience is so knowledgeable and respectful and so enthusiastic. It's, I feel it's, uh, I feel touched every time I play for, for you. Uh, for, pe for people who know me well know that I'm a huge sports fan and uh, you know, in sports there's always a home field advantage and I think we're lucky because we, we have home field advantage every time, every time we play for our audience and uh, it's, it's always a special experience. As a new music director of the Sophie Harmonic Orchestra, I would like to see that we can work together, we can find music at the highest possible level, which could be also like a huge enjoy for the players to, to find something new about, about music, something about ensemble working, and which could be a good musical adventure for the audience. So this is the new project and I, I hope that we all can do it together. I just hope that all of you will join us and support us during this exciting 2020 season. Um, we have a fantastic mix of uh, old and new. You know, we have uh, our, you know, we will continue to work with our principal guest conductors, uh, Marcus Stenz and Theory Fisher, who you all know very well and the orchestra enjoys working with these uh, artists a lot. And also we have Maestro Vanska starting, who has also been here many times, so, uh, but in a new role, it will be very, very exciting. And uh, we also have many uh, new conductors and artists who have not been here before. Also next year, the programs, the programs are, are a, a nice mix of, of old, we, we, we do some, you know, we Brahms and Beethoven, you know, the Mahler, you know, the, the great classics. Um, but then we also have many, many new pieces, uh, uh, modern music, uh, in addition to some pieces that are maybe less familiar to our audience and, and the orchestra. And I think it'll be exciting as we 
continue to, continue to grow um, through next season. 서울 시향은 사실 음악 감독이 계시지 않는 동안에도 좋은 오케스트라였습니다. 어, 그것은 이제 국내외에서 관객들과 평론가들의 반응을 통해서 저희들이 다 어, 경험을 하고 있고요. 그렇지만 이제 어, 뛰어난 역량을 가진 또 인품을 가진 음악 감독님이 새로 부임하셨을 때 저희가 좋은 오케스트라에서 위대한 오케스트라가 되고 싶은 그런 경영자로서의 욕심을 가지고 있습니다.